by having this switch I can switch it back to standard and then I can switch both these pots are engaged now um, otherwise I'd throw it that way this one's shorted and this one's shorted across itself so um, anyway heaps of adjustment The ground wire is this bottom right one, the brown one, well actually which you don't use, you won't need to worry about, but the blue three in from the left on the bottom is a blue wire, on my, it's a blue wire, so on the bottom row, three in from the left hand side, that is your timing resistor, it goes straight to the timing resistor on the pump, and three in from the left on the top is a black with a red stripe and that goes to the fuel so red for fuel uh, blue for timing and um, that's then I've fed those wires I've put this wire in which runs to my um, to my gauge there and uh, I'm into my uh, my switch box and uh, yeah so anyway so you've got two wires here if you worry Got my two pots there. Left one does the timing, right one does the fuel. Um, on those that scale, there's just resistance that I'm adding in series to the um, compensation resistors on the fuel pump. Um, I've put a switch there so that I can switch them out. And um, I'll do a circuit diagram so you can see what I'm doing. But I'm going to attach that to this piece of plastic. Oh, I've it runs through this piece of plastic um, where um, I'm going to mount it where the cigarette lighter used to go. There's two screws up the top there, screw up, and they're all they fit there. I've also got a voltage gauge which um, I run to my uh, glow plugs. That'll tell me the uh, condition of my glow plug relay um, if the contacts. Uh, um, have a voltage drop across them you'll see a reduced voltage that start up 